Good evening peeps and welcome back to the Hollow Knight Mod Spotlight series, I guess this is a series now, because people seem to really, really, really enjoy the last episode, so I decided to make another one. The only problem with making these videos is actually that the mod community of Hollow Knight isn't exactly the busiest of all mod communities out there, there aren't that many mods to find, but I did find one mod that is almost the polar opposite of the safe, more defensive build of the Lightbringer mod, which is the Black Moth mod. Now I feel I wasted a little too much time on the intro last time, so I decided just to jump right into it, we're gonna find out more about the mod, but don't worry, it's, it's about dashing, and it's very cool. So, this is basically the premise of the mod. We have infinite dashes, but at the same time then this is also our, our primary source of damage. We will not be able to upgrade our nail, it will only be able to do one damage throughout the entire game, so we have to adapt to this more aggressive playstyle as opposed to the Lightbringer, which made, made you have to adapt to a more defensive playstyle. So like the way the Lightbringer mod was kind of inspired by the way the Grub Charm used like a ranged ability, then this one was also obviously very, oh, okay, this is gonna be weird, um, inspired from something that was already in the game, which I think was the Sharp Shadow Charm, uh, which made, makes your uh, Dash Shadow do damage. So of course someone out there had to decide, hey, you know what, maybe we can make an entire game out of this. So that's what they did. What's gonna be interesting to see though is how bosses and different stuff is gonna work out with a, with a dash smashing, with a dash damaging, because I think some bosses have too wide of a hitbox to dash through them. Um, it's gonna be interesting nonetheless. But you know Tom, to be honest, I'm not even complaining. I start off with a dash, I can get through this intro quickly. <laughs> so I am, I am just happy. Tis I. You're gonna be hearing a lot of that sound. Oh man, that is interesting. There's just so the problem with these mods is just the balancing because there's so many different enemies purposely built for the way Hollow Knight's mechanics work. So it's gonna be interesting to see where this mod exceeds and where it fails. That is fun though, effective on both flying and like still standing on the ground enemies. But still, it's the wider hitbox the enemies I'm worried about. So let's try to find one of those. And also, unlike the or the Lightbringer mod allowed me to get past this guy faster. Does this one allow me to do that too? No, it does not. So if we had to compare it to the Lightbringer mod, then it does not allow us to jump further in the game or like skip a barrier. Which I, I don't know if that's a good or negative thing, but if you've played this game for a long time, then you might want to skip through it kind of quickly. Notice how I even almost died in these kind of trivial parts of the game. That's because this playstyle kind of forces you to be, well as I said it forces you to be more aggressive but also more risky because you're basically engaging with the enemy um, with a limited hitbox timer or like limited uh, invincibility frames. So it's definitely fun if you've been playing this game for quite a while and you're looking for a new way to play it and you need that extra edge of risky. Then I can definitely recommend this already. I gotta say, this is actually, like as someone who's played Hollow Knight to the point where it's almost like it's almost draining to play it in regular mode, then this is a very, it's a very fun and refreshing playstyle. A little too close. If I had one concern for the way or the effectiveness of this mod, then it would be the more vertical levels, like say, City of Tears or the Crystal Caves. The ones that are more like, yeah, horizontally based and you can't use your dash as much, where you kind of have to rely on your nail even though it does no damage. Um, I am not gonna play that far to reach those levels, Oh, okay, there we go. But just keep in mind that I I would personally expect that to become like an issue for, for the player when it comes to balance. See, this guy, I don't really have any way to go about. So the question is just if I have to go back to my good old slash and dash. Hmm, yeah, that's also another problem I noticed with Black Moth, or Black Moth mod. Well, first of all, I had that it took for forever to take that guy out with just my regular nail, and it's not gonna do any more damage throughout the game, so that's just the damage, the nail damage I'm gonna have to deal with. Um, but there's also no way to kill an enemy with your dash that's cornered. Uh, another thing to, like, just for food, food for thought. I also just noticed, I don't think my nail actually grants me any, uh, soul, which makes this boss fight particularly difficult. Hmm. 
Yeah, I have no idea how to beat that guy with my charge ability. <laughs> it could likely also just be me who mistimes my shadow dash, and maybe my sh with a fully like um, recovered shadow dash, I might be able to get him. Hmm. No. Oh wait. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It is possible. Oh, you just have to get really close to him. Oh wow, that is really effective. I guess this is more effective, right? Oh crap. I will say the guy becomes much harder when you have to get this close to him. But it's cool, it really does emphasize that like... risk-reward playstyle. Wow, that was very cool. I don't know if they purposely made it like somewhat difficult to get close to him or that's kind of like a puzzle you have to figure out, but that was cool. It, it was actually, just like I said, it was kind of like a puzzle you had to figure out to beat the boss. Uh, which is not uncommon in like game design, so it's very cool. Just give me the damn ability thing already. Are my abilities gonna be different? I bet it's just gonna be the same. Likely. Yeah, I mean, it has to be the same, otherwise I wouldn't be able to get the green garden. Oh, and by the way, if it seems like I'm asking a lot of questions... Um, for someone who's installed the mod, that's because there's almost no info on it. It doesn't share a lot of information. The Lightbringer mod did have a bit of info on it, like the fact that it has charms. I don't know how charms are gonna work in this. I don't know if charms just work differently, or if there are new charms added to the game um, to actually make it somewhat balanced. Because there's no point in getting, like, charms that upgrade your nail if you don't need an- well, if you're not gonna use your nail. Oh yeah, fighting enemies in these later platform segments, especially in, like, uh, the Colosseum of Fools, that's gonna be a challenge, but I bet it's- it's gonna be possible, I bet, but it's just gonna be harder, um, definitely harder than the regular game. Well, this definitely becomes much easier. But this enemy also has a, t a smaller hitbox and is faster, so they're easy to hit. Weirdly enough. Come on. Die on me, brother. Oh, I don't. It's always- this scene is always disgusting. Eh. You can at least access this area earlier because you have the jet- the, the dash. Ah. Uh, well, this one doesn't exactly show me a lot of information because most of the- the charms here are just passive buffs. It did change the long nail to the long dash. It didn't change the description at all. But I wanna I wanna try this anyway. So if I stand right here and dash, I end up right on the spike. And if I take it off. Oh, okay, it, it does have a little bit of a difference. A little bit, but that still still that charm alone would have helped a lot in that uh <coughs> in that false knight fight. Because just that little extra extra length can prevent you from getting hurt. So there has been done some readjusting to the charms to make them viable for this mod, which is nice. Um, because that basically means that in theory, then you should be able to play this entire game with this mod on. You don't have to quit halfway through because your, mod, your charms don't work, which is very nice. Or, well, in theory. I'm, I'm trying to think of bosses that might be game-breaking for this mod, but I can't think of any. I think you could do it. I do wonder what kind of charm combinations could completely bug up the game though, because I bet you could get way too like far distanced dashing if you just get a lot of uh, nail extension charms. Well actually, let me just test that. I know this may or may not corrupt my save, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out anyway. So right now I'm on my best save or my stronger save right now. I did have another one where I completed the game, but I deleted that one. Um, but as you can see, then I've got the Nightmare Grim, I've got a lot of different charms here, so I'm gonna try to see how to break this mod. So what ha yeah, what happens if you add, like, the... the, uh, the charms where you swing your nail faster, and also your charms? Like, the where you, um, dash faster? Oh my god! That is... Wow, that is actually pretty crazy. First of all, I have the Sprint Master thing, so that's why I run faster, but also try and check this. This is me from the bench. Now I'm over here. <laughs> oh my god, that is game-breaking. Who needs the Crystal Dash when you- Oh, whoa, whoa, what happened? Who needs the Crystal Dash when you've got this? That is too far. And I can do it too fast, too. So, let it be known 
that if you want to try out different fun and almost useless jumping distance builds, then you can do that. Go and try to try to get all the charms in the game and try to play with these for yourself. This is amazing. I mean, amazingly useless when it comes to platforming and stuff, but still, it's cool. So the last thing I'm going to do before I leave off this mod spotlight is actually check out what uh, I get from Hornet, because I don't need the dash anymore, so what am I going to get? Do I get anything? Sorry that a Jew I have to kill every time, by the way. Or actually not kill, just kind of wound. Maybe some boss patterns were changed to better fit this mod? I doubt- I mean, I doubt it, but... Because there seems to be put le a little less e effort into this mod than- oh! Um. Thank you for taking me around the world for some reason. I want to get real feisty with this combat. There we go. Would have, would have hurt me otherwise, but... Thank you. Goodbye. So what are you going to give me? Okay. So you're just going to give me the good old... The good old I already have that type of deal. So I don't think there's actually any difference. I, I think there might be like the moth wing effect. Or abyss effect after me, but I think that's the only difference. Maybe I do it a little faster now. I think I'm dashing a little faster, but that might just be a trick of the eye. But anyway, that was all there was for the Black Moth mod. I really, really enjoyed this mod. I really think there's something in it for this mod, and even though this mod seems to kind of have, like, less effort and less work put into it than the Lightbringer mod, then I find this one, like, as a person who's played this game a lot, more fun. I like the risky, like, the risk-reward uh, playstyle. I don't really like the Lightbringer defensive machine gun kind of style, which kind of fit- it, it kind of doesn't feel like it fits into the world of Hollow Knight, but I really like how they took the idea of like the sharp cloak and then they just based an entire mod on that and they changed up the the charms. Uh, even though they might not look like that detail, they just got a simple name change. They didn't get anything new added to them. I don't think there's any new charms either, uh, but I still think it's cool that they made this mod playable by changing up the charms. All in all, then it's a freaking great mod. I think if I had to recommend this to a veteran who's played this like over and over again, then I recommend this even more than the Lightbringer mod. It's just so fun being mobile and like, especially if you get the Dash Master, you can dash like down in different directions and you can use your mobility to damage, which I think is really cool and a really cool and new tactical way to attack different kinds of enemies. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this Hollow Knight Spotlight. Let me know if there's more mods out there that I've missed and that I can play. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.